I'm Cassie, and this is my story. My first night at Forever Young, the amazing Sailor family brought me and uh, came out, you know, was a little bit nervous because it was my first time doing any church event. And um, I walk in the house and I'm immediately greeted by all of these people coming, telling me hi, giving me hugs. And I was a little taken back by, you know, how sincere and how just amazing people were being because I wasn't used to that. And, um, you know, I was really impacted that first night and ever since then I've been going. Uh, I am 15 years old. I go to Liberty. Um, I was born here in Arizona. I moved around a lot as a child. Finally settled down in Arizona around third grade. Um, you know, had my struggles just as much as the next person. Um, kind of just been living life, doing teenager things. I'm not exactly sure entirely what I want to do with my life, but I know that I want to help people and be there and encourage people because I've had a lot of things happen to me and being able to use my experiences to help people get through what they've, what's happened to them is the most rewarding thing to me. So I just want to be able to take my experiences and benefit from benefit somebody else from it. The two people that have probably impacted me the most at Forever Young is Christian and Brittany because ever since I've been going there, they've both just been there, been super encouraging. And you know, every day, every time I'm there, they come up, hey, how have you been? How's your week? And you know, just the talks that I'm able to have with them are just deep and inspiring and I love it. A couple of weeks ago, we had family night at the church at Mountain Ridge, and I had brought my mother. We went, it was just so many people showed up, and you know, we got right into worship, and uh, the most thing, the thing that stood out the most to me was um, we were doing worship, and we went up to go do communion, get the bread, have the juice, and we had set aside just a few minutes to really sit down and talk and pray with our family. And I went up with my mother, we sat down, and I looked at her and I just broke down, you know. I started talking to her about how Forever Young has really in, in, impacted my life and just made things absolutely incredible you know, having coming to Jesus for the first time and how encouraging she's been because of that. And, you know, she's always been there behind me. And we had gone through a really rough time where we shut each other out for years and we weren't there supporting each other. And to have her there in that moment was everything to me. And just seeing the Lord work in that moment was just incredible. And you know, so after that, things just started getting better. You know, my mom and I developed further relationships. You know, we kept we kept communicating, we kept talking, and um, every week it's so, so important to come to collect groups because that's the thing I look forward to every week. That's the thing that keeps me going because collect groups, you're, you're able to go on, you know, the big, mountain ridge services and you know it's a fun time we're all going doing worship there's a lot of people but when you're able to sit down with 10 15 people you know you have intimacy and you're able to really communicate in a different way you're you get into the bible you you really are able to you know talk and learn about our God and that is the most important thing is having that relationship with him and we're able to he works through us and we're able to have not only a relationship with him but a relationship with everyone at the church and that is so important because you know having that base is a family and forever young is really like a family and it's something that I haven't always had a lot of, and I come there and it is a family. For anybody who's going through any sort of hard time in their life, because we all go through them, I would just, my advice would be to not bottle things up, to be able to communicate, because communicating is the best thing, and when you bottle things up, the only person that hurts is yourself. 
and I would just pray to the Lord because everything has a purpose. You know, you may not understand the pain you're going through right now, but there is a purpose for it and there's a reason. So just take that pain and use it for something great and just communicate with people, communicate with people at your church, pray to the Lord and just, you know, really establish communication because that's what's going to get you through it. Also, uh, so Star Wars is coming out on December 18th and um, you should really be there. I am Forever Young.